So you're at the bar having a beer with your buddy and he says, man, I just skied that 50 degree slope. Well, I bet he skied the slope, but I don't think it was 50 degrees because 50 degrees is steep. Research actually shows that people overestimate the angle of the slope due to the fear of descending that hill. Now, slope angle is just one way that resorts rate their runs. Beginner runs are usually around 10 degrees, intermediate runs maybe around 20, and expert runs around 30 and 35 degrees. And the insanity when somebody can ski down a slope, stand upright, and touch the snow on the side with their hand, that's up to 55 degrees. Now to put this in perspective, Corbett's Coulard up in Jackson Hole, Wyoming, is actually only 30 or 40 degrees. But that's after you jump in. And that jump in is what's terrifying. Now the stuff you see in movies, that's on another level. So here's the rub. The most fun slopes to ski, 30 to 45 degrees, are also the most prone to avalanches. Slopes less than 30 degrees generally don't have enough gravitational pull to make an avalanche. Slopes over 45 degrees generally avalanche naturally. So it's the slopes between 30 and 45 degrees that have that sweet spot of gravity, but they need a trigger. And skiers make the perfect trigger. So the next time you're out skiing, check out the slope angle. Most smartphones actually have apps that allow you to do so. And when you get the hard data, you might find yourself to be a little less of a superhero than you initially thought, but that's okay, because then you can call out your friends when they claim to ski something that's more than 50 degrees. Unless your friend is Mike Douglas, in which case he's probably telling the truth. I'm meteorologist Joel Gratz for allthesnow.com.